okay, we're going to make a fountain like this one right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with the slab that's about the size I want it to be, and then I'm going to click on the Duplicate and Repeat button, or just hit Control D to make a copy of that shape. Then I'm going to size it down in one dimension, but up in the Z dimension, and I can hit my Fit to View button to zoom in a bit. So now I've got the basic fountain shape. I'm going to select the back of the fountain. I'm going to again duplicate that, and I'm going to use the cone to raise it up. Now I'm going to resize that uh, copy I've just made, and I'm going to draw a box around all three objects, and I'm going to go and click on the Align button, or just type an L, click on the center dot, and now all three rectangles are aligned up the middle perfectly. I'm going to click on that top rectangle. I'm going to use my keyboard arrow keys to bump it over a little bit. And then I'm going to duplicate it again. I'm going to move that copy over, click on the first one, and I'm going to actually turn it into a hole. And I'm going to select it and the backing, and I'm going to group those two shapes together. So now I've cut out a notch in the back of my fountain. I'm going to grab that other rectangle, move it back and lower it. I notice it's a little too uh, long. It's protruding underneath the shape, underneath the work plane. So I'm going to adjust the Z axis, the up and down. I'm going to turn it blue. And I'm going to adjust it so it looks like a waterfall kind of lapping over from the fountain. I'm going to click that shape and duplicate it, stretch it out, and I'm going to click off the shape and then back on, duplicate it again, and raise that copy up out of the way. I'll lower my water here, but now I'm going to turn it into a hole, and I'm going to select the hole and the base of the fountain just those two things, and I'm going to group those two objects together, nothing else. So now I have the main part of the fountain. I can lower the water back down. Again, it's protruding too much, so I'm going to adjust its height from 8 down to 3, and then I can raise it up. And so now I've got a little waterfall that's feeding a big fountain pool. The last thing I might do is select all of these objects, and go up and click the group button or hit control G but then I'm going to go to solid my my color and I'm going to say now make it multicolor which will turn it back into whatever the colors it just was were but now it's one object and will function like one object